Hey girl, hey. Welcome back to my channel. I'm M. Williams, Sugar Salon TV. Just to tell you briefly about me, I'm an ex-salon owner. I'm retired, licensed hairstylist here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm retired, had a storefront salon and two salon suites simultaneously at the same time. And so I'm gonna put more about myself in the description box below so I won't have this long introduction. Anyway, get right to it. I'm gonna tell you guys about how to attract more clients to your salon. If you're a hairstylist, a nail tech, or you know, um, barber, or whatever service industry you may be in, or this may also apply to other business types. But let's just go down this list and then really quickly, this gonna be painless, and I hope it helps you. <clears throat> so again, I had a storefront salon. I opened in 2008, um, survived the recession. But this is kind of what I did and some of the great things that will work for you or should work. Have an open house. An open house is this, it's just a way to, it's kind of different, you know, it's something different that a lot of salons don't do. Um, especially probably ethnic minority salons, you know, it's a great way to kind of get your name out there to have people come and visit your salon or whatever type business you have without really, um, making people commit or making people feel like they have to commit to your salon and you can just have like refreshments you can do it maybe on a sunday and you can have where people come in from maybe like um maybe like 12 to 2 or something like that just a couple of hours you can have your stylist there they can introduce themselves they can do like free mini consultations you can have like i said refreshments and stuff like that and then you can also have some marketing materials there like fly, uh, flyers, brochures, business cards, and stuff like that. So that's one way, have an open house. Yelp and Google. Yelp and Google is really a good way to kind of introduce clients who are online, which everybody's online now searching for businesses. So if you don't have a Yelp or Google page, um, that's unfortunate, so you want to make sure that you go ahead and get one. Number one is free, and number two is kind of a great way to get yourself and your business out there and let people online who are searching for great places to um, patronize, such as your business. It's a great way to get to let people know about you. Mm -hmm. Again, it's totally free on Yelp and Google. You know, you can put pictures, you can put your address, your website, all of that good stuff. And then you can direct them to your business address, to your website or whatever. Um, social media, which is Facebook, Instagram, Threads, Twitter, TikTok, etc. You know, there's so many social media out here. And you guys, it's totally free. So if you own a business and you don't have social media, I really can't understand that. Because anything that's free, when you own a business, you want to have it. And so, yeah, you got to maintain it. One thing about having social media, you want to make sure that you're always engaging people on there. You want to make sure you're putting videos, mm -hmm. you're putting flyers on there, you're posting um, stuff on there, videos and other stuff. You're also putting pictures of hair, nails, or whatever it is that you do. You're consistently doing that. If you, as the owner, don't have time to do that, you know, um, have one of your your assistants do it or have someone who works for your business have them to do it on a regular basis. A website, um, really in all honesty, a lot of hairstylists or people in the service industry don't have websites, which I don't understand. Again, when you're trying to get your name out there, you got to think like a customer. Like if you're trying to find a restaurant that you've never been to, or if you're you wanting to try, maybe you have a date night or something like that, or maybe you're married, you're trying to go hang out with your spouse, and you want to try out a new restaurant, you're nine times out of ten, you're going to ask, you know, somebody, have they heard of a good restaurant, or are you going to look online? So mainly people look online. And so I'm shocked and amazed at how many people that don't have a website. You know, if you don't have the money right now, if you're just starting out, and you don't have the additional funds available to you, um, just go ahead and get one of the free websites, which I will put some on the screen that's free. And to me, it's kind of a no-brainer because with all your social media that you have, there's always a place to put a link. So the website, if you have a website, it's kind of a way to direct people who are interested, direct them to your site so they can have one landing place where they can go and just read more about you. Mm -hmm. Pop-up shops. 
Pop-up shops is a great way to kind of get your name out there. Again, it's another way to kind of um, be able to take your business outside of just where you are. You know, you may be um, located in Gwinnett County, but you may want to go to, you know, the Cab County or Cobb County or somewhere different, or you can do a pop-up shop out of state in another state. To me, that's the kind of way to expand your brand and to kind of get your brand name out there even more if you have the time on your hands and you have an extra time when you're going on vacation out of town, just do a little bo a pop-up shop. That's a great way, again, to get your name out there. Networking events. Like, networking events is kind of an old school thing that people used to do a lot, but I think it's a great way to kind of get out there, you know, meet other business owners or meet other entrepreneurs. It keeps you kind of motivated because you can bounce off them, they can bounce off you. It's kind of a great way to find out more about the business, especially if you haven't been doing it long. And then you meet some great people, you engage with other people, you can exchange, you know, conversations, you can exchange, you know, information or how to's or, you know, sometimes people have great advice that you, you know, have not thought of yourself or great suggestions. Mm -hmm. um, it's this one website called meetup.com. I'm gonna put it up on the screen and it sounds like a dating um, site, but it's actually not. It's a great way to meet other people and network as a business. So I will put that on the screen. You should try that out. It, I mean, it's all over in the U.S., you know, different cities. So no matter where you're located, you can find a meetup networking event wherever you are. So can, as far as social media, Social media has all type of way where you can do paid advertising too, like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, they all have where you can pay. And, and don't be afraid to pay, you know, because when you pay, then what you can do is set the area where you want your promotions to be when you pay for your advertising and your promotions. And you can set your own budget, you know, even if you wanna do a budget as small as $50 a month or $40 a month, whatever you can afford because whenever you have a business you know it's going to be kind of common sense that you got to market yourself don't just feel like if you open in a very busy area that people just going to automatically start coming to your place of business because they're not you have to market your business it doesn't matter if you in a a slow area that's not that busy slow traffic area i mean or if you're in a very high traffic area, it does not matter. You always have to market your business. Whenever you open a business, before you even open the business, I already have in mind that I know I gotta market my business. And once people start to find out about your business and you, your business start to get really busy, then maybe you can pull back a little bit and then you know just have the people that work for you do their own marketing and branding, but you always want to be consistently marketing your business as a business owner and as I say do some paid advertising but set your own budget with whatever is comfortable for your budget radio and TV commercials I did those as well um, they can be you know it just, it just depends on what your budget is again with those you can set your own budget I did both radio and TV I did predominantly TV commercials but what I found with those is they they kind of have like a quick return, you know, that you kind of get clients quicker in that way. So I always, my husband and I, we always um, came from a, a perspective of, you know, we are not going to rely on our team of stylists to market our business, but we always marketed our business. Mm -hmm. So TV and radio commercials are great. Brand ambassadors. I think it's a great idea to have brand ambassadors. And what are those? Those are um, people that you can just use as models. You can do their hair free or at a very low rate and just have them market and advertise for you. They can um, always tag you. You know, they can always, um, when they go to events, you know, you can do their hair and they can, they can have business cards or flyers. Um, they're just brand ambassadors and they're just people who are, you know, used as models to kind of uh, promote your business, whether it's on TikTok, Instagram videos, or however it may be. That's kind of another great way. Um, and you can also have some type of incentive for them if they refer a certain amount. Say, for instance, if they send like five or six new clients within a month or whatever parameter you set, then they get, you know, maybe some a fee or 
uh, maybe some free products or whatever you determine. But that's a great way to have someone else marketing your business and to keep marketing. Models. Uh, models, again, like there's some ones that you use in your videos. There's some ones that you do their hair and you can always, you know, take images of. That you can always be refreshing your social media with new looks and stuff like that. You'll even see stylists on social media who've been doing hair forever. There's their celebrity stylists, their top stylists, but you will see them post from time to time that they have a, a model search where they're looking for new models to use. Because you always want to consistently be putting new content out. Photo shoots. Photo shoots um, are great ways to get fresh new content. Again, when you have the models, then of course you're going to be doing photo shoots, whether it be with a backdrop, whether it be outdoor uh, photo shoot or indoor photo shoot, whether you um, connect with an, uh, you know, kind of collaborate or collab with a photographer, makeup artist, or something like that. But you always want to be getting fresh content, especially when you're in this industry of hair. Client incentives. If you already have clients, which I'm sure you do, then it's going to be, that's, that's your great marketing person. That's your great um, brand ambassador. That's the greatest person to, uh, people to be marketing for you are your current clients. So um, usually when you have clients, they are more than happy to refer people to you because they must like your services because they're already a client of yours. So you want to have incentives for them such as, you know, if you refer me four new clients or three new clients within a month or within two months or whatever parameter you put on it, when they refer new clients to you ever so often, whatever your parameter is, whether it's every three months, every two months, once a month, and you put a number to it, like if you send me three new clients a month or if you send me six new clients every two months or if you send me nine new clients every three months, then you get this or that you know whether it be a small fee or whether it be free products or whether it be discounts on their services if you set some incentive some incentives for the clients to refer people to you then they will so use your clients as brand ambassadors too they will be more than happy to market you and so um that's basically what I have for today. I wanted to make this, this um, video very brief and to the point. But people are always out here looking for new ways to market themselves, new ways to bring in clients. And consistency is the key to the breakthrough. You know, you've got to be consistent. It's not an overnight success story. Whether you are, uh, um, uh, you're in the service industry and you've been in it a long time or whether you're just starting out the same applies you know you always got to be consistently marketing yourself at all times you got to be putting out good work and another way too is reviews like I said Google and Yelp but you also have to um, before your client walks out the door ask your client did you enjoy the service because if they have anything negative to say that's giving them an opportunity to tell you then mm -hmm. or if it's anything about their hair or nails or skin or whatever that they don't like that's their opportunity and their incentive to tell you right then where they, while they're standing right there. So you want to ask before they walk out the door when you finish the service, you know, just ask them, ma'am, did you enjoy your service? You know, whether it's a long time client or a new client, especially a new client, you want to ask them, did you enjoy the service or is it anything about the service I could have made better for you or you know I hope to see you again would you like to go ahead and book your service now because I your next appointment now because I stay pretty booked up you want to always do that because you rather them tell you when they standing right there than for them to leave and be disappointed and they go online and put a review about you so you want to find out now so um, that way if it's something they don't like you can go ahead and rectify it right then while they're there because once they leave they're gonna have a bad taste in their mouth and nine times out of ten they're gonna put a review and you know um you're trying this this video is about you building up your business it's not it's not about you know getting negative reviews and stuff like that so you want to um be proactive instead of being reactive and so being proactive means that you're trying to avoid these situations 
So you want to go ahead and ask them, you know, did they enjoy the service? Do they like their hair? Do they like their nails? Do they like their skin or whatever service you perform? And then that way they can go ahead and give you the feedback. And once they say, oh, I really enjoyed it. And then just say, okay, well, do you mind putting a review online? You can put it on Yelp for me. You can put it on Google for me. And then, you know, once you come back, um, if you show me the review, I'll give you 10% off your next service or whatever. You can do that because you always want to bless people when they bless you. At least that's how I feel. It's a great way to run a business. Always be sowing that seed back. And so that will be um, a motivation and an incentive for someone to do something to be a blessing to your business. So that's what I have today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop your comments below. If there's anything else you want to see on my channel, drop it below. I hope you'll go ahead and subscribe and I hope you'll click the like button. Subscribing and clicking the like and leaving a comment. All of those are free. It's no charge to do that. So please continue to watch my videos and please um, subscribe and leave the comments and stuff. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next video. Peace and blessings.